Relationship mindfulness is a particular form of mindfulness. You might recall that yesterday we talked about daily mindfulness practice and we practiced the observe, describe and participate skills and we also practiced how we would do that in a non-judgmental, very one mindful and effective way. So now we want to turn our attention to mindfulness of other people. So yesterday we talked about being mindful of self, mindful of our own emotions. But in this current situation, we also need to be very much mindful of other people. So to help us practice mindfulness of other people, we're going to use the word give. We're going to practice kind of using this acronym to help us remember what it is that we need to do at this time. So the first letter, the G, stands for being gentle. So not only yesterday that we talk about our own emotions and maybe being gentle with ourselves and being a bit kind to ourselves, but it's really important at this time that we're gentle with others. You know, so we're all struggling, we're all in this together and it is a difficult time. So really practicing on minding your relationships and focusing on being gentle with others. The I stands for being interested. So it's really important at this time that we don't make any assumptions about what's going on for other people or that we don't assume that just because we feel something that others feel it too. So it's really important that we have a gentle curiosity and an interest about what other people are experiencing, how they're feeling and how they're thinking at this point in time. The next letter is V and V stands for validate. And the word validate means that we acknowledge or we understand or we appreciate maybe what another person might be going through. So when we validate, we empathize and we understand what it might be like for them in this situation. So we can validate how difficult dealing with COVID-19 is and the limitations that it puts on all of us and our daily lives and how challenging that can be for everyone. The final letter is E. And E stands for having an easy manner. So despite what's going on and despite the challenges that we all have at this point in time, having an easy manner, being able to remember to use humor, being able to remember that these are people in your environment that you care about and want to have fun with is really important to preserve your relationships and keep them safe and well while we all survive COVID-19 together. So again, when we think about relationship mindfulness and give, the first person that we need to give to is ourselves. So we need to remember to be gentle with ourselves, be interested in our own emotions, validate our own experiences. We're struggling here too. And having an easy manner, be willing to have fun and be lighthearted. Of course, not only do we practice give with ourselves, but it's really important that we practice give with the people that are in our environments. So whether that's your family, if you're confined to home at the moment or working from home, that you remember to practice give and be gentle, interested, validate and have an easy manner with your, your close family. It's also important that we remember to practice our give skills with our colleagues. So some of us are frontline workers, some of us are still having to head out in the day um, and really important that we recognize that other people are struggling too and we practice our give skills with them. And then finally, maybe we have an older person in our life, um, somebody that we think about and maybe that we now can't connect with, maybe they're cocooning. And we have to practice our give skills in very different ways where we're touching base with them, maybe via multimedia using WhatsApp or some other uh, platform. Um, and you're practicing being gentle being interested, validating and having an easy manner with them in those very different ways.